This is Guy with Survive. Today we're going to talk about the Survive Lifetime Warranty. Uh, we seem to have some confusion the other day with the M390 abuse video and the brick. First off, I'm sorry if that confused anybody. I was trying to illustrate that M390 was not a brittle steel uh, as seems to be what is proliferated around the internet. I didn't mean to confuse anybody. Uh, I don't believe cutting a brick is a cutting task per se. Um, Everything else in the video would have been covered under the lifetime warranty had the knife failed. One thing I did want to explain about our warranty is please go out and use your knives. If your knife should ever fail you doing any type of user task, it is covered. Let's say you guys are out there batoning, uh, you're batoning over a rock or something like that, and you would happen to baton into the rock. Say the knife should hit the rock and it would happen to fail. That's going to be covered under the lifetime warranty. I cover batoning, any type of cutting related task at all. Uh, the only thing I will not cover is willful ignorance. Uh, if you're out there just trying to break the knife for no reason at all and expecting me to cover it, I'm probably not going to cover it. If you do happen to be chopping a brick and the knife would happen to fail you, which I don't expect, uh, if you're just out there, you know, testing your knife out and you think that's something you want to do, um, and you come to me and say, Guy, I was batoning and batoned into a rock and it broke. Uh, that's just gonna come down to an honesty issue on you. I'm probably gonna cover it anyway. Something about my knives is they're a really good value for the money, um, so much so that I have a waiting list for things that I'm trying to get into production and things that are in production. And the materials I use are really expensive. In my heart of hearts, I would offer a no questions asked lifetime warranty, except that there are those people out there who just want to willfully destroy things. Uh, if you're one of those people, I really don't want you to have my tools. Um, I'm in high demand and I would like to get my stuff out there in the hands of people who are going to use them as a tool. A Survive knife is more or less covered for any type of user task, whether it be general cutting, uh, some light prying, batoning, any type of uh, cutting related task that you would see as reasonable and even unreasonable is, is going to be covered by the warranty. The only thing I really will not cover is willful destruction of the tool. It's just something on me on a principal level, I just, I don't choose to cover. So far the GSO 10 pre-order has been going phenomenally well. Uh, I've really been surprised with the uh, participation so far. We're about halfway sold out. Our cutoff right now, some people have been wondering, is two weeks from the opening date, which would have been yesterday, and or 200 pieces. Uh, traditionally that's the way it's been going, but since this is the last GSO 10 pre-order at this discount, I'm considering letting it slip past 200, although the pieces sold after that uh, will still be at the discount, they won't be numbered. If you happen to get in later, uh, don't worry about it, we've still got you taken care of, you just might not get one with a 1 through 200 number on your piece. So uh, that's about everything we have for you today. Uh, right now, I'm going to go out here and chop this Casio cell phone in half with my GSO-10 and see how that fares. And that is a cutting task that's covered under warranty. So I'm Guy with Survive, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> oh yeah, it's right there. You want a shot of it? So it's it.